What's up guys? Welcome back to Weapons 386. If this is your first time here, my name is Marshall and I like to work on Toyota and Lexus vehicles. And today we are putting a Gretti radiator into my GR86. So if you guys are just, or if you're new to the channel, um, I've been setting up my GR86 for uh, tuner class and SCCA time trials rule book. Um, basically I'm just done suspension, wheels, tires, I'm working on a cooling system now. I've already got a Gretti oil cooler on there. I'm about to put a Gretti radiator in here and um, hopefully that will take care of all of my cooling needs and I can get as many laps in as I want um, with the setup that it has. So we're gonna get over to the car, start ripping uh, the old stuff out and get that new Gretti radiator in. So on to the install. All right, so here's the radiator. Comes with its own hardware and a little emblem. I don't know where you're supposed to put that because you really can't see the top of the radiator. Um, so we're gonna be running the factory radiator fans because they are gonna be more efficient than any kind of slimline fans and I really don't need to upgrade those. Um, we're really not running into kind of any issues with cooling as far as the water temps go. Um, we were running into oil issues but hopefully that's gonna take care of that but since there is blocking some service area for the radiator, I wanted to go ahead and upgrade the radiator while we're in here and while it's the off season. So we won't have any cooling issues going forward. So we're gonna get the car up in the air, drain out the old radiator fluid, and then start popping the intake and the radiator out. guys so I got the intake out um, started unbolting this support kind of shaft here also we need to pull this piece out and oh I'm sloshing everywhere we will use this as the drain so um, when I get on the bottom side I'll show you where you can hook this up and where the drain is on this car because it is different from the previous gen all right guys if you go under the passenger side and you remove all the plastics underneath that right there is your drain for your coolant. You can see that little right in front right there. That is where you wanna hook your hose that you took out of the top out and then crack the bleeder and it should shoot out. So I got my drain pan underneath the car and I'm gonna get the radiator drained. All right, I got a steady stream coming out of that thing. So I'm gonna come up top and I'm just gonna pop crack this loose let the thing really flow all right so I was hoping I wasn't gonna have to remove all the under panels but since we are I'm gonna check just to make sure there's no leaks on my oil cooler that I installed um, sometimes you know how installs go they don't go perfect on the first shot so I'm gonna check that real quick make sure there's no oil leaking while we have a little bit of time because the radiator is draining and uh, as you can see I only have the front jacked up so I might even be able to get all the fluid out of here, but um, I think we should be able to get enough out of the radiator itself to do the swap. After I was draining the coolant out, um, I was trying to get to the front of the radiator so I can get to the um, AC condenser. Yeah, condenser. Because you gotta get up there and you gotta take four bolts off the um, AC condenser that also attaches to the front side of the radiator. So I was trying my best not to, um, but I'm going to be having to take this front bumper off. So I'm going to do that and then uh, we'll get back to it. All right, guys. So off camera, um, I removed the front bumper. Got it chilling back there in the back of the garage. I also took the little um, intake snorkel piece off that's laying out over here now. He was right here. I only had two 10 millimeter bolts holding that on. We got to get this radiator support bracket off. So I got two more 12 mils up here 
as well as we're gonna disconnect this, um, I guess, air diverter here. I'm wondering if I should just leave it off so I can get air to the top of the intercooler, or sorry, radiator. I'm still thinking about my Supra. Um, thinking about getting air to the top of the radiator. I don't think it's completely necessary, but I don't know, I'll think about it. I'm probably gonna put it back on because it's the way OEM is, but um, I don't know. I don't know if I, why I need that. All it does is block air from getting to the top of the radiator. So um, I'm gonna pull this part out, get the top of the radiator frame out, or a radiator bracket out, and then uh, this radiator should come out. I do have to take four 10 mil um, bolts out, two on either side. Um, that's why I had to take the front bumper off so I could get up there, as well as get to the front of these two here. I wouldn't be able to get that support out and disconnect it from the AC um, without removing that front bumper. All right, after you get the top um, radiator bracket support off, you can see that there's a lot more exposed up here. I got the AC condenser disconnected from the radiator. Now there's two 10 millimeter bolts on either side that holds the radiator stay brackets on. And if you disconnect those two 10 millimeters, you can uh, get the top loose. Now I'm gonna have to disconnect the upper water hose um, as well as the lower water hose and I wanna get my drain under it because there's more than likely still radiator fluid in the radiator. But I disconnected the fill port um, with four 10 millimeter bolts, two here and then two on the actual bracket that holds it. Um, it gives me a lot more access. As well as I disconnected the hood latch with these little push clips in that uh, upper radiator bracket, uh, support bracket. So now I have to disconnect the fans wiring um, down here and then this thing what should be ready to come out once I get these hoses disconnected All right, another little update here. I got the um, Reservoir out with two 10 millimeter bolts and then that little piece at the bottom Just sticks in right down there. There are two push clips this little guy there and then on the driver's side that one there you push them together and it backs out of the radiator shroud um, I've used a, a tiny little flathead screwdriver to pop, uh, to lift up on these tabs so I could get the wire harness for the radiator out. Now the uh, wire harness clips are kind of fighting me. I'm trying to get these two um, plugs off so then the radiator should come out, uh, or the, sorry, the fan should come out. Um, after I get the radiator fan set up out, I'm going to try my best to get these hoses off top and bottom they are on there pretty good i got the top disconnected but the bottom one is uh fighting me so i'm trying to get this fan shroud out and then we'll move back down to the bottom all right fan shroud is out basically as soon as i stopped recording <laughs> these things decided to let loose and they came right on out uh, so the fan shroud is over there i'm gonna wait to put that back on until we got the new radiator in the old radiator slot so now all i gotta do is disconnect these two here and that lower radiator plug, or uh, hose, there, sorry, I was looking instead of pointing the camera there. And then uh, this little guy's ready to come out. Let's get it done. All right, so I got the radiator out. I'm gonna clean up this lower, lower uh, radiator bracket support here. Uh, it's kind of dirty from tracking and just regular driving. Also dumped coolant all over the front of my engine from the lower uh, radiator hose. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that cleaned up. Um, one thing about the Gretti unit, I don't really care for how they uh, did the drain on here. Like once you take this and open it, it's just gonna shoot 
all over the side of my oil cooler and all over the, the radiator brackets and stuff. Um, I wish they could have done a little bit better with that, but as long as it keeps the car cool, I guess it'll be uh, serving its purpose. So like I said, I'm gonna clean up the car a little bit and then I'm gonna get this new radiator in. Got the radiator back in. It fought me a while. As long as you put the radiator shroud back in the way you took it out, um, I got it back in, got it bolted on. Water lines are now hooked back up. Let me reconnect this piece and get my radiator bracket stays back in. And I could put the front of the car back together and finally be done with this radiator stuff. All right guys. I got the front end back together, everything but the under trays. Um, I don't have any coolant right now. I forgot to pick up coolant. I have red coolant here, which works on the Supra, but A6 uses blue coolant. Um, I don't know what the difference is, but Toyota puts it in there, so I'm gonna put it in there. Um, but everything's all bolted down, good to go. I'm also changing the oil so I can get the car ready for SEC. I'm, SCCA time trials that I'm doing in March um, up at VIR. Uh, it's one of my favorite tracks. I got a decent amount of experience there. Um, hoping to get a podium this time. It'd be really cool to get a podium at, again at VIR. If you guys, uh, actually I don't know if I ever posted my ISF video where I, I podium. I came in second place up there uh, a year or two ago. But um, it'd be cool to do it in the 8.6. So, I'm gonna get the car back together in a couple days when I go get some coolant because Toyota doesn't open tomorrow, so I won't be able to get any tomorrow. But um, I'll let you guys know in an up. I'll give you an update when I go to the track if uh, my cooling upgrades worked. I'm assuming they will. I had the same dready stuff on my last 8.6. Um, it was FRS, so it was a different motor, but the stuff worked great. The oil cooler, intercooler, or sorry, oil cooler and radiator. Did excellent. Um, all the tracking I did in that car, it never got anywhere close to overheating. So, if you guys stuck around this long, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. I'm so close to hitting my monetization numbers. Um, I think I'm about a thousand viewing hours off. So, every minute that you guys watch, I appreciate. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Hey.